Throw down that strong box. You're getting mighty handy them guns, Johnny boy. Yeah, it's too bad Ma wasn't here to see you. She'd be mighty proud of you. I kind of wish, though, that you hadn't had to kill that girl. Yeah. What you're thinking, Lattimore, but you let the law take care of this. This is the only law those two understand.
Looks like you got him. Yes. I think the kids can take care of themselves from now on. Lucky it's me found you instead of Ben Lattimore. You, Jethro. I go fishing. Well, you ain't me. The creek's dried up. Now, you're not as fast with a gun as you used to be. It's a 24 hour ride from Prescott to Apache Wells, even if you take the shortcuts. Now, you know nobody's going to back you up. Not against Ben Lattimore. You don't hear too good, Benton. I said it was a 24 hour ride from Prescott to here. Me and the Symes boys won't be here when Lattimore shows up. We're going to catch the morning stage for the territorial president. Well, you're the marshal. Oh, no time for that now. Where do they get him? Locked up in Apache Wells. No, but don't worry about it, old girl. We'll ride in and bust him out like we did before. Well, this is a different town and a different jail. And the kids kill the girls, so nobody has any sympathy for them. Not even for little Johnny. Well, that fool kid's trigger happy. He's been asking for this. Hold your tongue, Adam Scott. He's my baby. He's one tough baby. Well, he had good teachers. You and me and the rest of this outfit. Look, Jeb had the same teachers, but he doesn't go around shooting women. Johnny had to shoot that girl. His mistake was not to make sure that she was dead. Like mine was not to make sure that Latimore was dead. Well, isn't he? No. So we have him to worry about, too. He wouldn't let my kids come to trial. He has sworn to kill them. Well, we'll get him out of that jail fast. We don't have to. The marshal's going to do it for us. Ben, how could you? Over her grave. She would understand. I don't. Well, sis grew up with guns around her. And died by one. So the men who killed her will have to pay for it. They've been caught, Ben. They're in jail. They've been in jail before and got away. Let the law punish them, Ben. Punish them is going to be my job. Well, if you go, I won't be here when you come back. Sally, I love you, but I can't let them get away with it. Straight through to Marcus and Mess or stopping off in Apache Wells? Straight through. Well, <laughs> so am I. Uh, someone meeting you in Moccasin? Nobody's meeting me anywhere.
we are. All right, you two, I want to get you to the territorial prison before Beth Lattimore's brother catches up with us. There's no one in there, ma'am. I would like to buy a ticket. Well, here comes the agent now. How much is the ticket to Moccasin, please? What? How much is the ticket to Moccasin? Fifteen dollar, ma'am. But if you take my advice, you wait till tomorrow. Well, I'm in a hurry. Why should I wait? That's why. In the back. That's Jeb and Johnny Sims. Who are they? You never heard of them, two hoodlums? No. Huh. Well, alongside of them, John Wesley Harden was a Sunday school boy. My, my, my. And one of them is just a child. Yeah, well, so was Billy the Kid. Now, you still want a ticket? Well, you see, my daughter is going to have a baby. But don't you remember? I telegraphed last night to her husband that I was coming. Well, you'll have to sit on top with the driver. It's good enough. So are you, miss. How about me? You sit inside. Are those murderers? There's always the more. people. Passengers. I'm still running a stage line. Two of them have got through tickets, so I can't kick them off. And uh, this here lady's going to have a baby. <laughs> At my age? <laughs> he means my daughter is going to have one. Well, I'd appreciate it if you folks would take the next stage. I got some desperate men here. Well, Marshal, I just have to be with my daughter. You see, this is her first child. And I just can't wait. Well, I reckon there ain't nothing I can do about it. But you ladies will have to ride up top. It's safe up there. What's your name, mister? Sam Gill. Occupation. Drummer. I'll take that, Mr. Gill. I may need it to protect myself. Any protecting needs to be done, I'll do it. It's a lot of gun for a drummer. I ride the stages a lot, Marshal. They get stuck up a lot. Hop aboard. When Ben Lattimore gets here, I want you to keep your mouth shut. Tell everybody else to. I don't want him catching up to us. What's the matter? You scared of him, Jethro? Bible says a man's lifespan is three score and ten years. I got ten more to go. Expect to be around at the finish. It'll be a pretty dusty trip, ma'am. Thank you. Warm old man of Cottonwood will be stopping long enough to change horses. Oh, yeah. Tell him to try to stay sober. Get up there.
Just a couple of Indians. Good, we'll blame it on them. How? Take them out and bury them. Everybody knows you can't trust an Indian. We lost a few men. How do you explain their bodies away? Bury them, too. The old man will leave for the buzzards. All right. Give the keys to the drummer there, then lock your hands behind your head. Could be that gun ain't loaded. Well, maybe I'll just pull the trigger and see. The keys! I ain't got them, Sonny. Gave them to Paiute just before we pulled out. <laughs> he, he's lying, Jeb. No, he isn't. I, I saw him do it. Pull the trigger. Well, Dixon will hear the shot. Next thing you know, him and that Indian will have their guns sticking through both them windows. Chances are they'll take you both back to Patchy Wells and turn you over to Ben Lattimore. Or, then again, they, they just might shoot you. Be done with it. Don't let them bluff you, Jeb. I never bluff, Sonny. I like life just as much as you do. Now, why don't you just give me that gun and let me load it? We, we had a chance and you, you, you passed it up. Well, no, no, there'll be, there'll be others. Buzzard, you. I don't like riding on rough roads with loaded shotguns. Sometimes they just go off by themselves. So, I'll just keep old Betsy pointed at you two in case that happens. Now, they were here yesterday, but they're not here today. Why? Could it be that somebody might have warned the marshal that I was coming? Yeah, telegraph key. Now, he didn't take them out of town on horseback, so he must have used a stage. What stage, mister? Well, now, I ain't at liberty to tell you anything, Mr. Lattimore. Now, come on, I'll put that thing away. 
Unless I misinform you, never shot an unarmed man before? Well, I never had any cause to until now. Well, the Marshal's my friend. He told me not to tell you anything. Now, if that's cause for killing, go ahead. So say I had shown up unexpectedly. Would you have helped him stand me off? Well, not me, or anybody else. Now, we don't care how Jeb and Johnny Sims die, just so they die. Well, now, they got a lot of friends in the territory, friends that might help them if they had a chance. Now, if I don't kill them, they just may not die. Well, now, I'll tell you something. Their friends ain't going to get them out of territorial prison. <laughs> oh, thanks. Did I say anything for you to thank me for? Yeah, uh-huh. Now, do you know if anybody around here has got a good horse for sale? Mine's just about had it, and it's a long, long ride to the territorial prison. Even if you know the shortcut. Get out of here, Dix. That's my old man over there, Marshal. Horse is gone. Old man dead. Indian boy's gone. You think they killed him? No. Good boys. Take a look around while I get a shovel. Too bad. He was a no good old drunk. So? Leave him to buzzards. You don't do that to your old man, Paiute. Somebody please help me down. You stay where you are, ma'am. We may have to get out of here in a hurry. Any signs to tell you who might have done it? No. Looks like they wanted the horses. Or well, maybe they didn't want us to have them. Dix, I know how you feel about your old man, but we got to get out of here fast, son. I'm burying him, and that's that. Lady, I told you to stay put. Them that done this might still be around. Oh, dear, I didn't think of that. But since I'm down, I might as well stay down, hmm? I'll take a look at your bag. What on earth for? Women have been known to carry derringers. Hey, old man. You'd better search her. She might have one in her bustle. I have a good mind to slap your impertinent face. You stay away from them. They kill women. I wish now I'd stayed in Apache Wells and turned them over to Ben Lattimore. <laughs> much shooting, much blood, many tracks. White men's tracks. Think Indian boy's dead. If you want, I find bodies. No. I just want to plant the old man and get out of here. Good, Dix. A bottle would be more appropriate. How about giving me my gun back, Marshal? I can be some help if we're attack. You want to help? Help her up top. And you better tie her down. Hey, Dix! Hurry up! Prayer, Dix? Not for him. For us.
Sorry, folks, you're going to have to walk for a while. Otherwise, we'll never make it up this grade. Dick's a hill too much for horses. Everybody walk. Well, that's all right with us, ain't it, Johnny? When Dick said everybody walk, he didn't mean you two. Paiute, take the other side. Get there! <laughs> I shall say, watch them. They cannot run away chained up like that. But somebody might sneak up behind us into dust. You want to see behind? Go back there. Let's get out of here. And Calico and get some fresh horses. I wish I could, ma'am, but nobody lives there anymore. When the gold ran out, everybody pulled up stakes. And the only thing alive yonder is rats, bats, and rattlesnakes. This rate will never get to Moccasin. Well, if we go any faster, ma'am, we'll never make the next relay station 15 miles away. Get up now! <laughs> Take a look. Pile! Everybody stay where you are. Watch the prisoners. That took a bit of doing. Sticks of dynamite. You're beginning to rile me, ma'am. You get right back up there. I just wanted to look. You can see all there is to see from up there. Inside. And get myself shot. Hello, Jethro. Did you wreck the bridge? No, it was down when I got here a half hour ago. See, somebody else beside myself is interested in that scum that you've been protecting. Now, I can pick both of those boys off real quick, but I'd rather give them a chance. That's more than they gave my sister. Now, you get them out of there and turn that stagecoach around and go back the way you came. But leave the keys with me so I can take off those handcuffs. Then what? Well, I brought along a spare one, Jethro. 
I thought they might take turns using it. Well, that isn't exactly what I'd call a chance, Ben. I've seen you in action. Have you seen them? They've killed a lot of people, Jethro, and not always in the back. A lawman's job is to protect his prisoners, see they get a fair trial. I don't trust juries. Now hop to it and get him out of there. Do what he says, Marshal. I want to get this stage out of here. Well, then turn it around. I've lived a long time without taking orders from a gunfighter. I'm too old to start now. Hold it, Ben. Sims boys deserve killing. Take chains off. Whoever wrecked that bridge didn't do it for fun. Let him have them. I want to stay in one piece. Boys take pistol. We in worse soup. Ben, I won't let you murder them. If I wanted to murder them, they'd be dead by now. Are their deaths more important than our lives? I'm saving your lives by taking them off the wagon. Will you let us get rolling? I've got a tired team here, and I got no place to go but back. Come on along with us. We can use your guns. Oh, there's no use talking to him. He's so full of hate, nothing else matters to him. Let him go, Marshal. He wants his blood, let him have it. He's beyond decency, beyond reason. All right, the killing can wait. Turn the wagon around, I'll ride with you. Come on, miss, we got no more time to waste. Too bad. Gunfighter's way, much better. Maybe shotgun go off by mistake, huh, Chief? Both barrels. Get aboard, you bloodthirsty savage. Nobody's been over that road to Calico in a dog's age. Why should they be? Town's been dead for 40 years. There's still plenty of water, feed, and shelter up there. I say it's a good place to hold up. I don't think that road back to Apache Wells is going to be particularly safe tonight. Not with a team that can barely walk. What you suddenly interested in us for, Ben? I thought all you wanted to do was to kill my prisoners. That's still the only interest I have, but I still say let's hold up in Calico. What do you think, Dix? Well, if I'm going to get shot at, I'd just soon be inside. There's nothing to hide behind up here. And he's right about the horses. They're beat. Well, I wish you'd thought of it instead of Lattimore. I've never seen a gunfighter you could trust. Nobody's asking you to trust me. I'm here for only one reason. It's taken me a long time to catch up with those two, and I don't intend to let them get away. Well, maybe what you're suggesting is just what those men who blew up the bridge want us to do. Maybe we're walking right into a trap. Traps are easy to see in the daylight. Besides, maybe, uh, maybe you've got something here they don't expect. Me. You make the difference? <laughs> Why don't you ask your prisoners? Turn me loose and give me a gun. And you'll be looking at the man who killed Ben Lattimore. I might just do that, Sonny. One way or the other. 
won't make any difference to the world. All right, Dick, let's fix this man's advice. Here, pal. What do you think, Paya? Wind blows signs away, maybe. Yeah, maybe. This best place? Uh, I'll take a look inside here. Stay outside. There may be some more in here. You're a I told you to wait outside. Why should I listen to you, Ben? You never listen to me. Well, we'll talk about that later. Later? The shooting will be over, and either they'll be dead, or you will. There won't be any shooting for a while. But eventually there will be. Where you are, there always is. My being here has nothing to do with it. Ben. Look, who ran out on who? You know why I ran out. I don't like to be touched by hands with blood on them. Sally, I've told you before, you picked the wrong man. You should have looked at my hands the day we met. All right. 
right, you two. Out. Now, inside. You know, if you were smart, you'd let us go. We'll be free by tomorrow anyway. We got friends. Who, uh, who do you think wrecked that bridge? Shut up, Johnny. If you do have friends, and if they do show, you ain't gonna be in no condition to meet them. Now get inside. Chairs, so your prisoners have to sleep on the floor. Sit down. We won't be staying long. I sure hope not. Sooner to Marshal puts you back to jail where you belong to better. Yak, yak, yak. Will you get her out of here, Marshal? I mean, being chained up's bad enough. Without listening to a gabby old woman. Well, I have got a good mind to put you over my knee. No, Johnny. Our Marshal done that to us a long time ago. Then maybe we'd turned out to be fine, upright citizens. Like a marshal, you know. <laughs> it's a little late to start blaming your ma, ain't it? But she's got a lot to be blamed for. Oh, I don't know. Our ma always wanted us to have the good things in life. And we've had them. And we'll keep having them. You know, I wouldn't count on that if I were you. Not as long as I'm alive. But one day you're gonna run into someone who really knows how to handle a gun. Like you? Like me. Well, you might find things a little different. You see, I'm not a woman, and my back won't be turned. Well, I'll nail the shutters on the windows, and that ought to do it. Oh, Marshal, you know, when I came in here before, this uh, desk was open. Now, unless Mrs. Gregory is a very, very tidy woman. <laughs> <laughs> the help we're going to get is coming from the outside, Mr. Lattimore. Now, don't get yourself killed. Because uh, I want that pleasure. Johnny, will you shut up? This man is gunning for you and me. Well, he's got scruples. That's another thing I wouldn't count on. They've got them in the old saloon. It's not going to be a picnic. You're forgetting one thing. Ma. Indian to come to have supper. As soon as I get through eating, me and Lattimore will leave them. Well, then, that leaves only those two miserable boys. Probably do them both good to go hungry. <sighs> that wouldn't be Christian, would it? Is it all right if I take them some food, or would you rather do it? You take it, ma'am. I got to watch this window. Ma'am, before you do, and I don't like asking you to do this, would you let the young lady search you? I ought to be indignant, but I suppose you have to be suspicious of everybody. However, I refuse to undress in public. Back of those curtains, miss. You better start trusting somebody, Marshal. You may need help. I'm gonna need help pretty bad before I start trusting a man who calls himself a drummer and carries a 38 double action Colt. Carried, Marshal, past tense. You took it. I could have told him it was ridiculous. Oh, don't blame him, Sally. He's a worried man. Well, if I were you, I'd be very angry. And we are dealing with murderers now. Don't forget that. She had a Gatling gun in her bustle. Oh, Sally, don't, don't. You're upsetting the poor man. I do what I think needs to be done. Uh, keep the door open. Why? She 
gets too close to them, I grab her. Say something loud and mean. About time you gave us something to eat. Can't you at least give us something more she just mucked down with? Having children myself, I hate to say this, but hanging is too good for you. If uncle and his man will be here before morning. Hey, I knew Ma wouldn't let us down. She let us down from the day we were born. Brought us up to rob and kill. And when her old man protested, she kicked him out. Johnny, Ma loves us. Look what she's done. We got guns, and Uncle Adam is on his way. Uncle Hal, he's no kin of ours. He's one of the reasons she kicked Pa out. Well, knowing Paul better than you did, I can't say that I blame her much. You let the whole world walk over him. Drink it up. We want to get these dishes washed. Johnny, you didn't eat a thing. Johnny, baby. Don't call me baby. I'm a grown man. I shot a girl in the back, remember? What's wrong with him? He's tired of living, scared of dying. Oh, Johnny, Johnny, baby, everything's gonna be all right. She's sure been in there a long time. Here. Ungrateful little beasts. I should have let them starve. We're not gonna live long enough for that. Come on down, Dix. I'll take over while you eat. Be sure and watch that back window. Right. Don't say nothing. Go get yourself something to eat. Said. I didn't want to walk out on you. And I didn't want you to. But you wouldn't do what I asked you to. I couldn't. Nobody kills somebody I love and gets away with it. So bent on vengeance, you'd destroy us both. Not vengeance, justice. An eye for an eye isn't justice. Well, in my book it is and always has been. It's not right to kill, Ben, no matter what the provocation. It's just not right. Sally, this is Arizona territory, not a Quaker meeting house. Out here you don't turn the other cheek and stay alive. You could take off that gun belt like I asked you to. Oh, Sally. Ben, someday you're going to meet someone younger and faster. And then Boot Hill and a gravestone will say, here lies a man who didn't know when to quit. Honey, I don't want you to die. Well, but you want me to turn the other cheek? Well, that's different. What's different about it? Tonight there's going to be a shooting and somebody will get killed. If I asked you to make the marshal free the Sims boys, would you? I asked him to free them. So you could kill them. I still have that in mind.
top of that building, you can see the saloon. Get up there. What do you expect me to do, draw their fire? Uh, just get up there and keep your head down and your eyes open. They got guards posted, and I want to know where they are. Wait here. Go inside and send Dixon out. Pilot! What about the water drop? What was that all about? Well, I guess they're just feeling this out. Marshal, this shotgun's no good at long range. Why don't you go inside and cover, and I'll take over here. Oh, you better give this to the drummer. I ain't too sure about him yet. That character we were just shooting at didn't come alone. And you're gonna need all the help we can get. All right, then. Trust Ben Lattimore, I have to trust you. Yeah, it's a beauty. If you have to use it, be sure it's pointed at the right people. Can you use a gun, miss? No. All you have to do is to point it, cock it, and pull the trigger. The Bible says, thou shalt not kill. I'm afraid the Sims boys and their friends don't live by the good book. Well, I do. When someone's about to shoot at you, there's no time for quoting scriptures. Anyway, the Bible is full of killing. Marshal, let me have a pistol. I may not be Calamity Jane, but I sure know one end from the other. All right, ma'am. You watch that rear door. You get behind the bar. Gail, you watch the front. I'll take the back window. You spot him? Yes. Get back up there and pick him off. We'll circle the place.
Marshal. Handcuff keys. Keys! Give it to me. Come over here. Get the keys out of his vest pocket. Give it to me. Give me those shells. In my, in my left hand coat pocket gun. Give it to me. Put it in my hand. Can you shoot? I don't know. Had to be done, girl. Lift me up. Put, put my finger on the trigger. Cock it. Cock it. Good girl. You shot once. Can you do it again? I think so. Take that pistol. Both hands. Rest it on the bar. Now point it at that rear door. And if you miss, keep pulling the trigger. Johnny, baby. Johnny, baby. Oh, let me go. Come on, Jeb. We're getting out of here. You're gonna miss him. Which one of you killed him? I did. She's dead, so you can't help her. Somebody with a gun at the end of the bar. Run out of help. Who needs it? I do. For one, Johnny. Maybe we better quit while we're still alive, huh? You won't let us stay alive? Well, if we threw out our guns, maybe you will. And then it's up the rope we go. I'm coming out. Have to go in and get him, Lattimore. 
a stubborn boy. Nobody's hanging me, gunfighter. When I die, it'll be with a gun in my hand. That suits me. This afternoon, you were going to turn me loose and shoot it out. Still willing to? If that's what you want. I'll, uh, I'll need a gun belt. Ben, please, don't do it, Ben. You'll have to come and get it. First, those guns you're packing, pitch them out on the bar. Come on. Where is it? Over there in the chair. This will do just fine. There's your gun. He's only a kid. You can't. It's murder. Oh, he's a few weeks older than he was. But he killed my sister. You're a plain damned fool, Johnny. Yeah, watch. Once, I wouldn't have walked out again. How was I to know? There's a lot more blood on my hands tonight. There's blood on mine, too. Cheer up, Johnny. They ain't hanged us. Not yet. You think more friends come? You can't never tell. Better not. Blow guts out left hand, same as right. Ben, I don't make mistakes very often. But when I do, they are beauties. Now, I was wrong about you. If I'd have handed over the keys to the jail to you and Apache Wells, none of this would have ever happened. I don't think you would have handed me the keys. <laughs> Paiute, you keep that shotgun cocked and pointed in the right direction. Take care of this. this. 